Hey, what's going on everybody? Karayo here, and I just wanted to throw together a quick survival guide type video for the new people who may have just gotten access to the beta version of Shadowlands and want to hit the ground running. I see all the time in trade chat the same five or six questions being asked over and over, and as you probably know, trade chat is not genuinely nice to these people. As I said, I do not want this video to run too long, so let's just jump right into it. Logging in for the first time, you'll notice a new template character option. Here you can choose to create a new character and jump directly into specific content. Collecting Bastion starts you on your leveling journey while working with the Kyrian. Revendreth is the Venthyr zone, Ardenweald has you meeting the Night Fae, and Maldraxxus will have you learning about the Necrolords. A level 50 character is a good place to start if you do not have a level 120 character to copy over and want to see what it's like. A level 60 character is the option to jump right into choosing a Covenant, Torghast, and Endgame play. Whichever you choose will have you greeted with a new layout for character customization. A lot going on here and some pretty nice changes, so I recommend taking some time to see what's new. Upon logging in, assuming you choose a level 60 character, the first thing to do is set up your UI. Spending some time on it now means you can spend less time on it later. Should you choose to make another character, simply copy over all the data and be on your way. Keep in mind, some add-ons are not working at 100% with the current beta build, so be patient and keep an eye out for updates. Your second task should be choosing a covenant. It is a very simple process. You merely follow a very short quest line that has you talk with all four covenants where they will remind you of everything they can do for you, and then it's up for you to decide. Should you choose the Night Fae, you are in for one of the longer quest lines to receive your class abilities. Start by heading to the top layer of Oribos by using the transport and making your way to the Flight Master. You are looking for Refugee Camp, located down south in Ardenweald. From here, follow Lady Moonberry and prepare yourself to partake in one of the best quests to ever be implemented in World of Warcraft. The event there offers some of the coolest class abilities, so I definitely recommend checking them out. Make your way back to the Flight Master, but this time we are headed out west, to the Sanctuary of the Mad in Revendreth. Be sure to wait for the elevator, ride it to the top, and head to the right. Follow the new quest marker and prepare to take the best means of transportation thus far in Shadowlands. Choosing the Necrolords is no different than any other covenants. Head up to the Flight Master and look to the north. Plague Watch in Maldraxxus is where we are headed. When you land, there is a bit of a hike ahead of you, but the road is simple enough to follow. I do recommend grabbing the new flight path upon passing it, and then continue upwards. Finally, you will reach Draka and your journey can begin. Of course, if you want your own personal steward, Kyrian is the way to go. I bet you know where we're going next. To the Flight Master! Look to the east. Flying to Hero's Rest will put you the closest, but mind your step. When you arrive, you will be on a floating platform, but there is a gateway available to you. I recommend taking this as opposed to falling to your death like my first character. 
Simply follow the path a little bit further and start your Kyrian adventures. Side note, if you have been completing your Covenant intro quest, you undoubtedly know where the Soulbind is located. Now most Covenants have the Conduit Vendor directly beside this, however Kyrians like to be difficult. The Conduit Vendor can be located at the southwest end of the hold. It took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit to find this my first time. Now the most common question you will see is how do I get to Ogremar or Stormwind? Lucky for you, if you open up your map and head to the most west location in Oribos, you will find some portals. The second most common question is how do I get back? A lot of Horde players don't even realize that there's a downstairs to the portal room. Hang a left and head down to reveal a fancy new portal back to Oribos. Now there have been issues with phasing and not being able to see the portals. I have not had any issues personally once I have selected a covenant, so maybe always do that first. Another frequent flyer of asked questions is where do I get my legendaries? While in Oribos, on the main level, look for the massive Torin Rune Carver Tor. He will queue you for the Rune Carver level of Torghast, and it is here you will make your legendaries. Be sure to purchase a bag or two of Soul Ash, this is the material required for crafting, purchase the Legendary Power Book, this is what allows you to try all of the available powers. The next four items are also required for crafting legendaries, as these will be your respected stats that you want on said gear. The remaining items are the equipment slots that you can turn into legendaries. Once you have opened your bags, acquired the Soul Ash, and learned the Powers book, you are ready to begin. Talk to the Rune Carver, and from here it's all plug and play. Place the item slot you want in the middle, the legendary power is next, followed by your selection of secondary stats. And there you go, you've crafted your first legendary. Do this as many times as your heart desires, but I do recommend getting at least one of every power so you can try them out. Once you are happy with your selection of legendaries, click on the portal to return to Oribos. Mythic Pluses are great for trying out new builds, but you're probably wondering, how do I get a key? Head to the top level of Oribos and search for the Mythic Keystone Vendor. He will have everything you need to create your keystone for whatever it is you want. You will be able to purchase affixes should you so choose, the keystone level to an extent, and which dungeon you want. They work a lot like enchants and you simply pick what you want to enhance the keystone with. You can only add up to 4 affixes, but so far that is the only limiting factor. Meaning if you want a tyrannical, fortified, bolstering, bursting key, you got it. But Cryo, what about my item level? This boosted gear can't be good enough. Don't worry about your item level or about grinding heroics to get better gear. As soon as you zone into an instance, your items are scaled. They will go up and down, so keep an eye on it. If you are ever wondering why your legendary isn't working, you are probably in a dungeon that is scaled below level 60. Now there are some pieces of gear out there that scale very well and you can try to hunt them down if you want, but I can't recommend it. The scaled gear is more than enough for testing out some Mythic Plus. I actually prefer to be slightly undergeared while testing. This gives me a solid view on how the class actually handles itself as opposed to just being carried by gear. I forgot what number we're on, but another popular question is how do I get to the Tower of Torghast? Head to the top of Oribos and reenact the best line from 300. This is Sparta! Jumping down into the Maw will be used quite often and is the path to Torghast. If it is your first character, you will need to complete the minor quest line that starts after you've chosen a covenant. You will collect some souls, enter and exit the Maw a few times, learn about the Jailer, and then finally queue up for the tower. Once this is done on one tune, as it stands for beta, the rest of the characters you create can simply head here and queue up for Torghast. This brings us to our final question, where are the training dummies? If you were lucky enough to select Kyrian as your covenant, good on ya. Your stronghold has the training dummies built in. As of July 3rd, 2020, 
no other Covenant has access to training dummies in their stronghold, though I suspect this will change in the near future. If you did not select Kyrian, don't worry. You can still use the portal to Zandalar from Orgrimmar to access the training dummies located there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the beta, welcome. I hope you learned something that allows you to start your Shadowlands exploration that much faster. Keep in mind, things are subject to change from week to week, but there are a lot of resources out there to keep you up to date. One last thing before I do go, do yourself a favor, don't log in and then immediately jump into trade chat and ask what's the best XYZ. There are just so many factors that play into the what's the best question that you're not gonna get a correct answer. Number tuning isn't done, class designs aren't finalized. Just use this time to explore everything. Hop into Torghast, where you don't have to wait for a group, you don't have to wait on other people. You just hop in there, test out all of your class legendaries, test out different builds, different combos, and who knows, you might discover a brand new way to play your class that nobody else knows about. That's enough ranting from me. Again, I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Enjoy the beta, report your bugs, and as always, Stay frosty.